Uh -huh. <laughs> um, in uh, John, yes, mm -hmm. chapter 21, uh, verse 7, uh -huh. uh, there's, uh, therefore, yeah, that disciple whom Jesus loved, <laughs> saith unto Peter, it is the Lord. <laughs> Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girt his fisher's coat about unto him, yeah, <laughs> for he was naked, and did cast himself into the sea. Oh. And the other disciples came in a little ship, oh, for they were not far from land, but as it were two hundred cubits, <laughs> dragging the net with fishes. As soon then, uh-huh, as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish laid thereon, and bread. Jesus said, saith unto them, Bring of the fish which ye have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to the land full of great fishes, an hundred and fifty and three. And for all there were so many, yet was not the net broken. There were 153 ship, uh, she, uh, fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus saith unto them, Come and dine. <laughs> and none of the disciples durst ask him, Who art thou? <laughs> Knowing that it was the Lord. <laughs> Jesus then cometh and taketh bread and giveth them and fish likewise. Mm -hmm. This is now the third time that Jesus showed himself to his disciples. After that, he was risen from the dead. <laughs> So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, mm -hmm. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. Then in verse 16, he saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, Lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Oh, oh. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved, oh, because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, feed my sheep. Oh, verily, verily, I say unto thee, when thou wast young, thou girdest thyself, mm -hmm. and walkest uh, whither thou wouldest. <laughs> but when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thine hands, <laughs> and another shall gird thee, uh, and carry thee whither thou wouldest not. <laughs> this spake he, signifying by what death he should glorify God. <laughs> and when he had spoken this, he saith unto him, Follow me. <laughs> Now, there's this big question of, um, lovest thou me more than these? Lovest thou me? Oh, lovest thou me? Now, for those in the way, in my way, I love you. Ouch. And those uh, in, the, in the family, the homeland, yes, kiss me, tell me that thou love me, that you love me. Oh, now Jesus had this problem with an individual known as Simon Peter. Simon Peter had denied him thrice, yes, but he obligated him. He asked him the same question three times. Yeah. Now, there could have been some influence of fish back then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They, had, uh, they had a net to the land uh, full of great fishes, mm -hmm. 153. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, I I believe, yes, that Jesus does love me, and I do love Jesus, yes, and I don't want anything to affect the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody wanted to sift uh, mm -hmm. Peter, mm -hmm. and uh, let me see, I can look back a couple of chapters, yes, uh-huh. Um, and, uh, Jesus said, touch not, and, woman, behold thy son, blah, 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 mm -hmm. Open the world, thou sayest, mm -hmm. 
Um, is somebody somebody using some programming? You know, um, I'm actually going to use the courts of this nation and other nations. Mm -hmm. And I don't want your Mormon way affecting the love of the population. Yes. I don't want the monarchy affecting the love of the population. Yes. If Jesus were to ask me, Paul, do you love me? I would want to say, yes, I do love you. And if there was a woman that said, do you love me? Yes, I would want to say, yes, I do love you. Now, I've mentioned that I have to love a woman at least 5%. <laughs> See, I can't just uh, turn it on and turn it off because I have to come to find out. <laughs> and the thought of the homeland taking control. <laughs> See, the war is about sex. Yes. Sex with love or without love. <laughs> Now, today, yes, why don't you give me all of those that have been admitted to bar associations? Yes. Where the queen mum said, Pooch! Well, we just have to be on them. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, having had legal experience for the last three or five years, yeah, excuse me, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to want to know what they say before they come to find out. Because in their way, they don't love whomever it is they're having sex with. Yes. Now, there's the positive and the negative. Yes. And uh, Jesus himself asked uh, Simon Peter. Yeah. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Oops. What are these that he's talking about? Feed my lambs. Feed my sheep. Oh, oh, oh. Feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. You know, um... I'm wanting to make some water, yes, and some food and some electricity. And somebody uh -huh, believes that they love each other when they don't. Mm -hmm. Now, just looking at the trigger words and the necessary uh, things that you have to say to each other. Yes. To experience the stimulation of your sexual nerve endings. Yes. yes, yes. I want to be able to say to each and every individual, I do love you. <laughs> I love you 5% because I think your body is absolutely beautiful. And when I see you naked, I love your naked body. Yes. There are some women that I would say I love you 20%. I love your physical person as well as your spirituality. Yeah. Then there are some that I would say I love you 50%. When you're with me, I love you because of your physical body, your individual personality, and your sexuality. <laughs> Then there's that one individual that I said, I love you 100%. <laughs> I love your naked body. <laughs> I love your anointing. Oh, I love your eroticism. <laughs> your willingness to volunteer. <laughs> that you as that first volunteer, I love you 100%. And I want you to be the mother of my sons. <laughs> now there's a possibility... <laughs> that loving somebody 100% means you love every part of their person, <laughs> even though they might not be that attractive. Yes. <laughs> but there's that anointing that I could love 100%. I could love it 100%. I could love it all the time. <laughs>